back again for another Monday video. I've got my coffee. I hope you do too. And we're going to get right down to it. I did off camera put gesso on uh, the page. Remember, we're using the altered journal, um, book journal that we've been using now for several weeks. If you haven't seen how to alter the book, go and check out that video. I will link it below. And as you can see, I'm just going very loosely at the very end of this script liner brush with the um, FW ink. And I'm, I'm going in there with just um, some messy handwriting, and this is in black. I wanted something bold and scriptive and graffiti-like, and I'm going to dry it. And then as I got it partially dried, I decided to spray some water on it to just see what happens. A lot of things that I do is just to see what happens. And so I'm going to go in here and dry it really good. I decided to use um, some of my spray inks. So I've had a few people message me and ask about what do you do when you're kind of stuck. One of the suggestions I have is to use products that maybe you've kind of put to the side and forgot about. Um, kind of re reacquaint yourself with those products. So I'm going in with three different colors of spray inks. I haven't used my spray inks in a while. And um, just kind of getting a feel for... Uh, what I like, what I don't like, what I think about the color, is it too much saturation, so forth and so on. And then I decided that I didn't really like that green. It was too green instead of more blue like I wanted. Like I wanted an aqua tealish color and that was a little more green than I liked. So I blotted it off. And I'm going to go in here with the Nickel Azo um, Gold fluid acrylics by golden and as we know with the acrylic spray inks they're going to lift and they're going to um, soak into anything that we put on top so you have to know that kind of going in or you could be like me and just be surprised and just fly by the seat of your pants and see what happens I am using a little water here to just kind of get things moving um, just kind of wrapping my mind around what I like and what I don't like about this page. And that's what you have to do. I mean, it's easier to just go with it and then go back and figure out what you don't like and kind of mute out. As you can see, it was very, very busy. And so I'm going in here with some gesso in my finger and I'm just kind of muting out some of that um, very busyness um, with the brayer here. It's just kind of letting it, we know it's going to absorb, okay, so we already know that. That's going to be absorbed from that Dilutions pink spray that I used. I think that was pomegranate seed. But I love the color combinations with this Color Shift um, Aqua. And I'm going to go in with, and it's really just a very, very light hand with the um, palette knife here. Oh, my heart swoons. Love it. So I'm just going in here with that little bit of the creme brulee spray just to see. I don't really think it added much to it. I'm going to scribble with my regular uh, Derwent uh, pencil here um, just to get some light, scribbly, sketchy marks because that's what I like. And I'm going to just make sure that I get this good and dry before I decide what I want to do next. And as you can see, the white kind of went to a pink because it's dilutions and that's what happens. And you have to be okay with that if you're going to use dilutions and you're not going to seal it. You can seal it with like a um, fixative spray, a Krylon acrylic spray or something like that. I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> I would have to walk outside to be able to do it. And so I think I like pink so it works for me. And I'm going in here with just some fine line work. Um, this is a Prismacolor pencil in kind of the bluey teal colors. 
that I was using that I just adding the little marks to it going in there again just muting out some of the areas that were a little too busy for me didn't really give the eye a ton of space to rest so I am going in and kind of muting that out a little bit and I'm going to dry it drying in between layers is just a really good thing to get in the habit of so you don't create mud and then I just had a like a pastel right there so I just went in with some of the light aqua blue color and I like it I like it a lot so now what to do what to do <laughs> what to do what to do what to do add stitches yeah 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 I'm gonna add some stitches here my dogs are telling y'all hello um, I'm just going to do what um, I believe is called a whip stitch. I'm going to zoom right on down here. I'm um, close by so maybe you guys can see. But I'm just wanting that whip stitch to go right around the edge of this. Um, kind of my thought process was pulling some of the fine black lines that I had graffitied around. And just kind of bringing some a black I actually I think this was navy but it was close enough and I didn't make y'all sit through it but I went all the way down until I ran out of thread um with that navy and I love how it looks it just adds that little bit of pop that little bit of texture that I needed and I wanted to kind of balance those dark black lines over to the side with a little bit of mark making not a ton but just a little bit of mark making over here with the Stabilo all and just kind of make sure I move around the page a little bit yay I like that a lot and now I know that I want to add a quote and so voila I typed it up what you think you become what you feel you attract and what you think you can create or something like that and so I'm gonna add a little masking tape because well y'all know I have an obsession with masking tape and a staple on top and I'm doing that before I stick it down so that I don't have to staple through to the back side if I if I hadn't have thought of that and I wanted to it's not a super big deal but I did think about it before and now I'm just gonna mute how black and how straight those were and grunge it up a little bit with a little water and don't forget because this is monday's journal we have to write the recipe over to the side so that's what i'm doing is using some old vintage paper that i had used in my typewriter and i'm going to write out all of the little pieces that we use to create this recipe for the delicious page and i'm just going to write down the fw inks i'm going to write down the spray inks that i used i'm going to use that script fine liner i'm going to write that down i'm going to use the color shift aqua and i'm putting just a little sample so i'll remember um dilutions pomegranate pomegranate seed spray and then um that I didn't even write the um that green color because I ended up lifting it off so I'm not worried about that that was creme brulee by Lindy stamp green I'm gonna go in with the uh, azo nickel azo gold quinacridone nickel azo gold and my color shift that is so delicious. That was Aqua Flash Color Shift. And then I'm just taking and just writing down the last little giblets that I used. Guys, thanks so much for joining me on my shenanigans of Monday. I hope this video uh, brings you joy and inspires you to create amazing art over the week. Make sure you go down and find how to find me on Instagram and use the affiliate links below. Until next time, toodaloo!